Nard out here is showing off MIBR's overpass A site fake. MIBR will send three players towards stairs early on the fight for foul control. If no aggression from the CTs, then Yell will regroup back towards B with his other two teammates Bolts and Cello, who smoke bathroom and divider respectively. Danico and SHC will make their way out mid to bench with the cover of the smokes. These two will execute A by smoking in between dice and truck, as well as jump up. Flashes are thrown to clear close and Danico gets killed by Axel while SHC mollies dice. SHC pushes up and gets a trade, then he falls back connector. When the execute was happening, this pulls a rotate from Naphne, leaving Hoppa and Water in Inter's barrels. The fake draws a rotate and MIBR make their way out monster. Bolts kills Inter's flashing A and he pushes up Graffiti. Bombas planted default and Yell and SHC double peek to clear water and kill Hobbit. Then Bolts with the trigger discipline kills Chiro and Naphne. You're probably wondering why MIBR are throwing these two smokes instead of the jump up and bank per se. The midsite smoke denies vision from dice and bank alongside the molly will force a dice player to reposition. The jump up smoke is thrown to allow MIBR to push towards truck. Downside is that an off towards bank can shut down the truck players. MIBR have an execute using these two sight smokes for A. This is why you saw C9 jump the gun so early and rotate all their players. Team Liquid had an execute where they used to throw these two smokes, and I recall device shutting them down from bank with an op. MIBR will run the same strat against C9, however they have a small variation of it. They molly divider instead of smoking it. SHC and Donico throw their nades onto A, and Donico makes his way into sight and kills Zeppa who rotated from B at jump up. SHC finds another kill onto A onto Floppy, and C9 had rotated everyone over towards A and the B site is clear. MIBR will make their way into sight and will eventually win the round. Let's go into the player's POVs. Donico is one of the players faking A, and he's gonna go towards stairs and he was gonna flash mid, however he uses his flash instead for playground for yellow peak. Danico goes around the smoke and he pushes up to mid wall. He sees the mid smoke and he watches for anyone peeking over it. Danico gets close to the smoke and he waits it out as well as when he gets close to mid stairs, his B teammates will smoke off bathroom and divider. He waits for those smokes to bloom before advancing and he needs to be careful with that jiggle peek towards bathroom there because if he got caught out by Shiro, the fake would have been hard to pull off. Danico will watch connector as he pushes up to bench, which he needs to watch for the boost behind the smoke as well as the boost where Axile is to peek over the smoke. Danico smokes in between dice and truck by positioning with this line on the wall, then crouch and then he aims between the C and the men and women circle to the right and he stands up and left click throw. He'll underhand a flash for divider and then he pushes up and gets killed by Axel. Had Danico not died to Axel, his pathing would be the entry towards truck with a god flash from SHZ. I wanted to show Danico's full route and pathing after he throws his nade set and you can see it here against C9. In the gambit clip he dies early on. After throwing his nades, Donico will entry into sight and he waits for SHC's flash before advancing the truck. He spots Alex and both players miss their shots. Then Donico kills Seppa jump up through the smoke and he dies to Alex. Donico did a really good job to stay alive for as long as he did and he even gets a frag. SHC, the other player faking A with Donico, goes towards stairs. He gives his two teammates some room to throw their nades, then he makes his way out towards Fountain with Donico. He too is watching for any CTs peeking over the mid smoke. Then when the bathroom and divider smokes land, he makes his way out mid and watches connector as he pushes the bench. SHZ will smoke jump up. He will get in the middle of the bench, aims at the woman's head, then left click throw. SHZ will follow it up with an underhand flash for divider to clear anyone close. Then he mollies behind dice by standing next to the divider wall, aims at this black mark on the wall and then jump throw. Axel will kill Danico and SHZ goes to trade. At this point, he doesn't need to advance as the nades and kill should force a rotation. SHC will fall back to connector where he double peeks water with yell and kills Hobbit. If Danico didn't die early on and was able to get the flowers, then SHC would throw a god flash for Danico to enter into sight. After the flash, SHC can push up and help sell the fake by showing presence or if you wanted, you could have him fall back to connector. Against C9, Danico died early on and SHC didn't bother throwing the sight flash. This time around you'll see SHC be able to flash Danico into sight, then instead of going back to connector, SHZ will push up and watch left side dice. Afterwards he pushes up to headshot and he gets a kill into floppy. Bolt's molly short at the beginning round, then he's gonna smoke bathroom when his mid teammates are ready to swing mid stairs and clear mid, which in this round is 129. Bolt will align himself with this wall, 
then I'm not as too sure whether Bolt is using his crosshair to aim above the fence or the tip of the top left of his smoke which is covering a black mark on the door. I want to say the later. Either way works. Bolt will jump throw the smoke. Then he walks towards outside monster. You don't want to go down the stairs if it isn't smoked off in case there's a CT playing jail. As Bolt is making his way towards outside monster, he's watching water. Bolt will wait for his teammates to fake A and Danico makes contact and gets killed, which then Bolt and his teammates outside B will start to make their way out monster. Bolt catches Inter's throw in a flash and he makes his way up bridge to graffiti and hides behind this corner. He hears a gamer player pass by and then he peeks out. Bolts will kill Shiro and then he gets a last kill into Naphne. Great trigger discipline coming from Bolts. Cello has bomb and he goes towards B to watch for the monster push. Gambit smokes monster. If monster wasn't smoked, then Cello needs to be careful for an operative peek or for any aggressive pushes. He will smoke Dubai around the same time Bolts smokes off bathroom. Cello will get behind this wood pallet, aims at this black mark on the wall, then jump throw. Afterwards, he goes to the right of the stairs and like I said before, in case any CTs are playing jail, they'll see your legs before you can spot them. He watches water before crossing the monster, and Cello waits for the A execute, then he entries out monster. He mollies the rotation and plants default. Fortunately, Gambit's molly doesn't spread, and Cello can remain where he is. You could also have Cello at the beginning of the round go connector and molly or have him throw flashers mid, then go back to throw the smoke, instead of having him wait outside monster and watch for the push. Instead, maybe you could have Bolts do that. Yell, who is MIBS Opera, has a rifle this round. He starts towards stairs to flash mid, and he smokes out the CT stairs molly. Then, afterwards, he goes to playground and holds for any long aggression as his teammates make their way towards mid. Yell will fall back to B once they're about to go down the mid stairs. When Yell is rotated, he is careful about connector and he doesn't make any noise in case there is a CT down there. When Yell is grouping back up with his teammates, he makes his way down the stairs because Monster is smoked off. Inters will start spamming the smoke and Yell backs up. He does not want to get hit because MIBR don't want to be spot outside B in order to force a rotation towards A. Yell will flash over Monster as his teammates entry out, then he goes short and will double peak water with HSC. Against Cloud9, the only other variation that they had is really mauling Divider instead of smoking it off. This could have threw Cloud9 a curveball because maybe Cloud9 was expecting the bathroom and Divider smoke in order for them to throw the fake. Let's take a look at some of the Gambit players' POVs. First off is the B rotator Naphne, who is jump spotting door. The AXQ comes in and Naphne flashes banana, then rotates. When he is about to get the jump up, MIBR made their way out monster and Naphne will rotate back. He goes heaven and he nades in Molly's sight. However, he didn't throw his molly with enough force. Naphne will retake from opposite graffiti and he doesn't expect Bolts to be playing in the graffiti cubby. He spots a player's sight and turns his attention after Shiro dies but Bolts kills him. Mid round enters his barrels and he tries helping his 8 teammates by flashing for them. Then he gets timing by the MIBR players coming out monster. The last Gambit player I want to talk about is Hobbit who is playing solo water. Personally, I don't like this because look what happened when the B rotator Naphne went to A. Both B players are on an island by themselves. And I think Inter should be playing towards short, helping Hobbit if need be. And they can play retake B. This is something I've seen Complexity run this setup a lot where they take water control early on and they leave two players there and then they let the enemy team come out monster and Cole will play retake. To wrap up, MIBR fake A on overpass with two players throwing utility and sending one player into sight while three players wait towards B for the rotate. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Until next time, Nard out here. Peace.